Christina from MonkeyPod here, making sure you know how to use our Duplicates Manager. You can manage duplicates under Relationships, Manage Duplicates. This will show you two possible groups, Likely Duplicates and Possible Duplicates. Likely Duplicates are duplicates that likely share an email address or an address. So for example here, we have this email address and then this person with that email address. Here what you can do if you would like to merge these accounts is you can take this, the three dots, and either drag and drop it under merge into or add to household. Let's go ahead and take a look what this looks like. When I click on this, it shows me a big arrow and it says, hey, we are gonna take this email address and we're gonna merge it into this account. If you would like to double check, you can use this arrow here to go ahead and view the record in a separate window. At the bottom of this merge window, you'll also see the selection for surviving contact information. Because these had the same email address, it's gonna choose this email. However, one of the things to realize is that addresses that you don't choose will be kept as alternates in the surviving relationship. Remember, merging is permanent, so there is no undo. Make sure that you are sure when you go to merge. One of the other options that we have when we're managing duplicates is to say that this is a unique relationship and to hide it. This is good if you know that two people share an email address, but that they might have two different accounts. Another place where you can decide to merge is on a relationship record itself. The best place to do this is to go to the record that you would like to keep and merge another record into. So for instance, if I go to Aaron Stewart and I know that I would want to merge a relationship into this account, we would go ahead here to our menu and click Merge a Relationship. Keep in mind that if your menu has only icons, it's the merge icon that we would like to look at. This brings you to a similar window. Remember, Aaron Stewart is the relationship that we would like to continue to exist after merging. Let's say in this case, we would like to merge Bryce Reimer into the Aaron Stewart relationship. We would then select which relationship name, last name, etc. we would like to keep. In this case, there is only one mailing address. However, if we had more than one mailing address, all of the addresses would come over to the account, but only one would be considered the main email. Even after we merge, you can see in the interactions for Bryce Reimer, that that account has been merged. If you have any questions, let us know at support at monkeypod.io or join us on a Welcome Wednesday call. Thank you.